Good morning everyone. Uh, look what I have for you today. I have this uh, family of three knives. Three folders from, uh, it's called uh, Tac Force Speedster Model. They're all called Tac, uh, TAC Force Speedster Model. It says Tactical Rescue and Outdoor. The only difference is their serial number TF468. Uh, TF-469 and uh, the TF-428W. Uh, well, you know, sometimes we all like, you know, only the best folders and the most, uh, the best looking, which are usually from the better companies and usually cost more. But uh, sometimes, you know, you want something simple to kind of add to your collection. And I think uh, this family of knives kind of answer that call. So uh, let's look, take a close look at it. Tech Force Speedster model. They're all made of 440 steel. Okay, you, you can see USA design, manufactured in China. Uh, and uh, I just wanted to show you not much to say. They're all liner lock. Okay, and. Uh, these two are, are spring assisted maybe this one too let's see oh yeah they just either thumb stud very easy deployment or the flipper uh you know this is like uh this is called pack of wood i think it's kind of nice uh, and you can see that uh, the pocket clip is different on these two models and as well on this one See, each one has its own pocket clip. Now these sit kind of high in the pocket. You can see that, you know, all this is sticking out. If I lock this one, you can see that uh, basically your pocket line will come here and all this is shining out of the pocket. Same over here. This one on the other side, it's less useful, you know, it's kind of like a dagger, but it does have that deep pocket carry you see uh, let's open them again very easy deployment okay. they're all on the four inch blade uh, three and a quarter three uh, three and a little bit more and and this one I think it's a four inch blade this is kind of unique I didn't choose the black uh, the blackened out version they have a blackened out version of this too uh, the, the way you kind of open it, if you try this, this kind of weird thumb stud, it's going to be a little bit harder. It will open. It's just, you see, it kind of grabs. The way to open this blade is to, to put one finger on the flipper and one finger on the thumb stud and together. Oh, you see, I kept my other uh, finger too close, my other hand. This is the way this deploys the fastest. And I want to show you one more thing. See, real nice and easy together. Yeah, this is more of a self-defense blade, uh, one purpose only. And the one weird thing that happened after a few openings, the liner lock here went berserk on me. <laughs> you can see the angle here it just locks it in all the way past the base of the blade I'll get it closer you can see it goes this way all the way I mean it never happened to me with any knife before so if you want to now uh, unlock it if you just go and push on the liner lock it's not going anywhere it's like <laughs> it's staying there so what you have to do is kind of pull that blade backwards a little bit release the tension and only then the liner lock will release okay now if you just let it go like this you see it didn't go all the way so I can push it and release but if I deploy the knife regular that click that you heard and you see you can see that angle the liner lock went past the blade and you cannot budget you need to push the blade backwards a bit release the tension and then you can it's just uh, 
you know, shows the quality of this, uh, of this knife. So don't expect much. It's about $7.50 for each of these. And they kind of make a nice package together. Uh, so, you know, for $21, $22, uh, you can have yourself a little collection of these Tac Force Chinese made knives. They look kind of nice. They may be good for a gift for someone who, you know, is not a real big knife aficionado. Because uh, if you give it to uh, someone who knows, they may be insulted that you're giving them a $7 knife. But, you know, for someone less, uh, less into it, uh, it's real nice. This is my favorite one, by the way. It's got this uh, thumb ramp and a little bit of jimping. And it's got finger grooves here. It really sits in the hand nice. Uh, which model is it? Ooh, I don't think they say on each one of these. But you'll recognize this shape if you're looking for it. I'll post in the description the three, the three links to Amazon. Uh, yeah, this is it. So I just wanted to show you this uh, small three knife collection that I have. Uh, kind of look alike. Each one with its own characteristics, but it's kind of nice. You know, if I do four dollar Walmart knives, if I show those those to you guys, I think there's some value in, you know, cheaper, uh, very accessible blades with unique with unique looks so till next time thanks for watching thanks for subscribing for sharing for commenting i really appreciate all that uh... see you bye bye